Now, while the world is struggling with rising energy prices, Italy's 72-year-old Fabrizio Cardinali has found an alternative method of living. Following the ages old traditional lifestyle, the man needs no electricity or indoor plumbing to survive. Take a look. Fabrizio Cardinali may be one of the few people in Europe not worried about rising energy costs this winter. That's because he's spent more than half his life living as far off the grid as he can get. By choice, he has no electricity, no gas and no indoor plumbing. I was not interested in being part of the world as it was going. So I left everything, family, university, friends, the sports team, and set off in a completely different direction, arriving at today. So renouncing everything that could be destructive to me, my fellow human beings and the environment. The 72-year-old lived like this for about 15 years in Sicily, where he got used to reading by lamplight. He then moved here to a run-down farmhouse in the hills of the Vidicchio wine country on Italy's eastern coast. 36 years ago, I arrived here. There would have been the possibility of using electricity here, but I chose not to have it. Right now, Cardinali is living with a small community, which he calls the Tribe of Harmonious Walnuts. Its members include him and his two housemates, Agnese and Andrea, as well as a rooster, three chickens and a cat. Andrea spends the week there, but goes home each weekend to look after his mother. Agnese, who's 35, moved in two years ago. I feel privileged because I have the freedom to choose my freedom, even to live without electricity, without gas, and to use wood and recycled oil from France fried food to run the lamps. The trio warm the house with wood, cook on an old wood-burning stove, and read by lamps fueled by used frying oil donated by neighbours. They grow their own fruit and vegetables and olives for olive oil and keep bees for honey. A local cooperative sells them sacks of legumes, cereals and wheat, which they grind to make their own bread. Sometimes they'll trade their produce for things they need. Being self-sufficient is a very difficult thing. It takes many people, willing, strong, young, etc. We try to do what is possible. We are self-sufficient in olive oil, honey, fruits and vegetables, but we buy our own cereals and legumes. Some people have dubbed Cardinali the hermit of Cupra Montana, but he says he doesn't like being called a hermit. He says life is simply lived best in small communities. He'll occasionally take trips to visit friends, walk or hitchhike to the nearest town to have a coffee with locals or visit the doctors. He says in the 51 years of living this way, he has never regretted it.